everyone. Today we'll be reviewing Carlo's Thai Lao flag. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of five stripes of red, white, blue, white, and red. The blue stripe is double the width of each of the red and white stripes and is charged with two white circles arranged one above the other. This is a simple design and the flag is easy to draw from memory. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. Carlo wanted to create a simple flag which was also distinctive, even in grayscale, which you can see here. Initially, the flag didn't represent anything, but Carlo then noticed similarities between his design and the flags of Thailand and Laos. Then he found out these two countries are neighbors and decided to make the flag represent a hypothetical unified nation of Thailand and Laos. The symbolism of the flag is the following. The two white circles represent Thai and Laotian culture, as well as the sun and the moon. The blue stripe represents the Mekong River, which forms the border between Thailand and Laos. The river runs roughly from north to south, and the stripe being vertical helps to convey this. The two white stripes represent religion and the purity of Buddhism. The two red stripes represent the bloodshed of the people in the past, and the hope blood will only represent life in the future. Overall, this is very good symbolism. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag has three colors. Those are red, white, and blue. All three colors are part of the standard set. The flag has good contrast throughout with white separating the darker red and blue colors. Overall for color, the flag scores 10 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag is distinctive among national flags. While it resembles the flags of Thailand and Laos, having vertical stripes makes it easy to tell apart from these two. And besides, if the two countries did unite, then the two current national flags would no longer be used. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we review the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for Carlos Thai Lao flag, we get a final score of 10 out of 10. Do you have a great flag design? Do you want us to review the flag using the five basic principles of flag design? Well, now is your opportunity. So here is what you need to know. Send your flag designs to flagthisvideos at gmail.com and include the following information. Your name. Nicknames or usernames are perfectly fine if you don't want to give us your real name what your flag represents. This may be a country, but you can submit a flag for states, cities, provinces, or just about anything else you think of. Please give us details of what inspired your idea, especially regarding symbolism. For example, what do the colors represent? If you include any shapes, symbols, or objects, let us know what they symbolize. If you're designing a brand new flag from scratch, try to make it distinctive. If you want to modify a currently used flag, let us know why you think your design is better. Please make sure your file is no more than 1600 by 1600 pixels and no less than 800 by 800 pixels. We accept all the most commonly used file types. If you have more than one flag design, please send a separate email for each. So what are you waiting for? Send us your designs and stay tuned to see your flag get reviewed. As always, remember to check out our videos and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and spread the word. Thank you for watching.